Hello, this is a video tutorial with DMV photo booth rentals for sale and uh, today we're going to talk about camera settings in DSLR Remote Pro and before you can even access those camera settings you need to connect the camera to the software and that will be discussed in another tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is open the software and immediately you're going to see on the left hand side of the interface uh, a column uh, with things that say TV, AV, mode, shutter release, AE lock, uh, flash compensation, etc. So I'm going to walk you through all these drop down menus to let you know that what we use and why we use them uh, in order so you, can, so you can have a successful event. And the first thing up is shutter speed. And shutter speed is just a term used to discuss exposure time. So basically the longer the shutter is open the more time uh, that the camera sensor is exposed to light. And we use uh, a shutter speed range that ranges from 1 80th of a second to 1 1 25th of a second. And paired with our lighting system, we find that this allows us a, enough room to play with changing things, making things slightly lighter and slightly darker. We don't want to go above 1 1 25th of a second, and we don't want to go below 1 80th of a second. We don't want to go below 180 of a second because it would invite motion blur into our pictures. And above 125th is just will make things too dark for the lighting system that we use. Next up is the aperture. And the aperture is basically the lens opening. And uh, the higher the, the higher the aperture number, the smaller the lens opening. And that also controls the depth of field. So that smaller lens opening creates a great depth of field. But the lower the aperture number, the wider the opening, and the more shallow the depth of field is. And we find that 5.6 allows for a good amount of things to be in focus uh, inside of the space of the booth. And next up is mode. Your mode should always be on manual. You can change this on the actual camera. Uh, and, and we never change it out of manual because we don't want uh, the camera to interpret things for us. We want to set them so they'll always be consistent. And next up is ISO. And the ISO basically is the sensitivity of light, uh, uh, the sensitivity of your camera sensor to light. Right? And uh, the higher that that number is, the more sensitive your camera sensor is. The lower it is, the less sensitive it is. We stay at 3200, uh, and uh, sometimes you might have to go to 6400, but I highly doubt that. And uh, the only problem with these high ISOs is noise, but we find that using these high, these high ISOs with our output doesn't really cause a considerable uh, amount of noise. It doesn't overpower the image. It, it looks just fine. And next is a exposure compensation. We always leave that at NA and flash compensation as well. We leave it at NA. Size slash quality. Uh, we always leave it at, as a large fine JPEG. We don't want to make raw files or anything like that. And then next is our white balance. For our lighting system we use fluorescent bulbs. So we need a fluorescent, fluorescent, fluorescent white balance. And you do not want to keep this on auto because each picture will have a different color color cast to it and it will be uh, very off-putting to the guests when they see something that's a little more blue and a little more yellow the next time so we want to keep this consistent and leave it at fluorescent and we don't use the color temperature either metering mode should all, always it, it can always be evaluat evaluative evaluative but we don't need it because we are on manual mode and we have our settings already chosen drive mode on single shot we don't want multiple shots being taken uh, when every time that the camera takes a picture uh, autofocus mode should always be on manual focus it should no never be using autofocus because when you use autofocus and pair with the system that has a timer attached to it, the camera is only given a certain amount of time to focus. And if it's not focused by that time, it will not take the picture. So leaving it on manual focus and focusing at a certain point will solve that problem for you. 
And as far as the rest of the stuff, we don't necessarily even use picture style uh, or comment down here. Uh, this is what this is our basic setup for our camera settings, so you can have a quality image coming out of uh, this software. And, and that's just the the basic of this camera settings and, uh, and the end of this tutorial. I like to thank you, and you have a nice day.